was alongside me is Lawrence Mutkin, head of European interest rate strategy at Morgan Stanley. Thank you so much for coming in. You know, at the weekend there was a little bit, can we say, a small cry of victory, these European leaders at least finding a political will to, to find some kind of an agreement they muddled through. Is there a setback? Because still the modalities are being discussed and actually it's now it's the horse trading. I think you're right. The modalities still are being discussed. But I think what did come out of the meeting, and which surprised the market and, and, and um, uh, exceeded expectations, was a demonstration that there is indeed a sort of unity within the European uh, governments. And that was something that was kind of in doubt before. Um, so although, if you like, the details are still to be worked out, I would regard it now as a surprise if the details would not be worked out, whereas without what happened um, over the weekend, I think we were still wondering whether we'd even get that far. So the political will is actually so important. You know, there's so many questions still remain about restructuring, about the health of the banking system. Do you believe that the political will will be strong enough not to plunge us back into a European debt crisis? Well, you're right. There are those very difficult questions. And in a sense, it is not... I think within the capacity of a bunch of European politicians, even of very powerful countries, to magic away those problems. I think that's true. But nonetheless, the fact, I think in a way what they're saying already to the markets, which maybe they weren't saying strongly enough before, is we do get it. We get it. We're all working together. You know, in a way, it, 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 it reduces the future uncertainty, even if the specifics are still to be agreed. So do you believe, you know, the, of course the million dollar question is very difficult to answer, but will the peripheral countries continue getting attacked? Are we going to see these yields under more pressure or is now the risk a little bit will t taken off? Are they a little bit more at ease with, you know, their, their debt? Yeah, I think, um, I'm not sure attacked is the right word, right? I mean, in a sense, the problem with being an indebted country and needing to refinance all the time is all you need is buyers to stop buying and 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 so it's it's a, it's a more passive thing than an active thing um, I think a lot of the work that needs to be done is still internal rather than external it's about sustainability rather than the framework for what goes wrong but as you get a stronger sense of what the framework is you can feel more comfortable as an investor that at least you can understand what your downside may be like and that means that you can respond more um, positively to internal moves to improve sustainability. So w what would you, for example, advise clients to, to do at the moment? Is there any particular you know, thing that looks attractive to be buying right now? Well, we have, um, uh, in terms of the market, perhaps a, 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 a disappointingly short-term view in the sense that what one learns from looking at emerging market debt crises is that between the beginning of the problem and the final resolution, there are so many twists and turns in the tail that it's really quite hard to go, here's what we think is the end game, therefore let's go with it. So instead we kind of look more tactically at where there are opportunities existing in the market. Um, our our modelling has recently suggested, in fact, that Italy, which was a neutral before, is more of a, a, more of a buy now. Obviously for many people it's the, the halfway house between core and periphery. I think there's been a lot of ex-peripheral uh, investment parked there. Uh, and that's prevented Italy outperforming recently just because everyone's kind of a bit long. I think now Italy might begin to, uh, begin to tighten in a bit.